let's talk a little bit about hydration during pregnancy. It's like my favorite thing, but why? I'm Hillary, I am the pregnancy nurse, and I'm the curly head behind the website Pulling Curls. I am also the creator of the online prenatal class for couples. I have been a nurse since 1997, and I have 20 years of labor and delivery experience. Here at the Pregnancy Nurse, we aim to educate you from bump to bassinet about your confident collaborative hospital birth. Today we are talking about one of my favorite things, which sounds a little crazy, hydration during pregnancy. I think it is so important. In fact, I think my first or my second TikTok was about drinking water and my kids will never let me forget it, but it makes sense because I love talking about hydration during pregnancy. Today we're gonna talk about like what you should be drinking, why it's important, all those different things, so definitely stay tuned. But while you're here, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe while you're down there because it shows YouTube that you are interested in having a healthy pregnancy and doing the things that are going to keep you happy during this pregnancy. Okay, so hydration. Your body is made up of mostly water and your baby is living in a pool of water. So it's really important that you hydrate yourself to stay happy and healthy during pregnancy. One of the most important things that hydration can do is it will stave off false labor. Now you're thinking, I wanna have this baby, especially if you're like 38 weeks plus, but false labor means that you are hurting with nothing happening. So of course we want contractions when you're that far along, but those contractions we're hoping are going to shove the baby out. But false labor are contractions where we call what your uterus is called irritable, where it's just mad and kind of like contracting madly. You know how that feels sometimes when you're irritable and it's not going to push the baby out. So. Those aren't helpful contractions at all. So I always recommend that you stay hydrated, especially towards the end of pregnancy, so you can keep those kind of contractions at bay, right? Finally, you just feel better. With my second baby, I actually went to the hospital and got an IV because I was so dehydrated from a case of the flu. I could not believe how much better I felt afterward. Of course, having an IV or drinking it by a cup is just the same. It's all fluids that are going in your system. Personally, most of the time I prefer just drinking it, but if you are sick or some other reason, getting an IV can be an option as well. You just feel so much better. So I always recommend that if people are in a state where they can't drink a lot, sometimes going in to get an IV of fluid is just gonna help you feel amazing. But of course, I'd rather that you just drank your water instead. What are some ways to stay hydrated during pregnancy? What can you be drinking that's okay for you and the baby? First off, you're gonna to wanna to talk with your provider. You might have diabetes, sodium sensitivity, other things that you might not be thinking of when you're thinking about beverages that you need to get the A-OK -okay from your doctor before you're drinking large amounts of them during your pregnancy. Something that a lot of people use during pregnancy is Gatorade. Now, I actually had a huge viral video on TikTok all about Gatorade and pregnancy. I had no idea how crazy it would go. In that video, I asked people what they were drinking to stay hydrated during their pregnancy. Lots of people use Gatorade. A lot of people actually use body armor, which I'm not as familiar with with Gatorade, probably because I'm old, but Gatorade can be a way to stay hydrated in pregnancy. However, these and a lot of the other things I'm gonna talk about have added sugar in them, and you wanna watch how you're feeling. A lot of times this will increase your blood sugar and then it may drop and then you don't feel near as well. So if you're using these as a way to stay hydrated, make sure that you're also eating balanced meals as well and talk with your provider about if this is okay in the amount that you're drinking this. I would mostly leave these for more of a treat. And of course, if you have early morning sickness where you're not able to keep anything down at all, then that's not as much of a worry, but talk with your doctor before you're drinking lots of Gatorade during pregnancy. But in general, a sip here or there, or a glass now and then, especially if like after you've worked out or you've been hot, it can be fine. Now, a lot of people in that TikTok mentioned that they love tea, which good job for you. I feel, have you guys seen Ted Lasso where he spits out the tea every time he drinks it? I feel like that's me, not a huge tea drinker. I know a lot of people love getting raspberry tea towards the end of their pregnancy because they say it helps soften their cervix. I tried it didn't really work for me. I like a lot of milk and sugar in mine to the point that it's probably mostly milk and sugar by the end. If you like tea, talk with your provider ahead of drinking a lot of it. Most of the herbal teas are going to be okay. Some are not okay. And some of the extra teas out there really are not okay. So talk with your provider before you drink a lot of it or ask them at your next appointment what you should be drinking beyond 
our number one bonus of water. Now this one might be familiar to people who may have had hyperemesis or early morning sickness. A lot of times they'll recommend ginger ale because the ginger in it is supposed to help stave off nausea. Does it work? I don't know, but a lot of people end, like drinking it. And honestly, if you're throwing up all the time, we do want to keep you as hydrated as possible. So if it's a good option for you and your doctor says it's okay, drink it up. Um, I always try and keep some Canada Dry at my house all the time just because it is good um, if you have tiny pukers at your house or anything like that. I do like this after people have thrown up. Personally, I like to take the bubbles out of it and the way that I do that is I pour it between two cups and that kind of gets a lot of the carbonation out because I don't love the carbonation um, while I'm not feeling so well. Same thing goes for other sodas. Talk with your provider before you're drinking a lot of it, some of them including caffeine and you just wanna find out if that's healthy, okay for you or not. Now, of course, the gold standard is water. Now, a lot of people say, I don't like water and before you say that, let me give you some tips. First off, do you like water warm? Um, cold, medium, lukewarm. Personally, I like drinking large amounts of water that are not super cold, so I prefer to drink it straight out of the tap. Some people like to have it filtered. Maybe you'd like to try a Brita and see if that does it. A lot of people like to try water bottles that have an infusible option where you can stuff fruit in the middle and that kind of flavors the water. They feel like it tastes any of the bad taste out of it. One thing I did when I was pregnant with my kids, because I worked at the hospital, I would get a lot of the crushed ice and just eat that. Um, I liked the feeling of crushing down on the ice with my teeth. Um, and so that is a way to stay hydrated, although it's not as good as like, you know, drinking lots of water. Water really is your best option. One of the things you can do is find out which kind of cup you like the most. A lot of people like plastic and that's fine. I prefer a stainless steel because it keeps it cold. Um, and I prefer a plastic straw over the stainless steel or the silicone straw. So just do what works for you. Um, all of this is totally reusable. I can clean out the straw and use it. So I feel really good about this. There's a lot of vacuum sealed water containers that'll keep it cold and then you can have it by you so that you can drink it whenever you want. A lot of times just filling the water bottle and having it next to you is the biggest part of the battle. So if you get in the habit of filling a water bottle that you like to use and having it by you, that will help you stay hydrated during the day. So that's hydration during pregnancy. I hope you guys like this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're down there. It helps YouTube know that you are more interested in learning more about your healthy pregnancy so that I can prepare you from bump to bassinet. I think you're also going to like some of these upcoming videos as well. Mm -hmm.